Hi, so here's the second uh, video on inequalities. So solve the following inequalities to find the set of values of x for which 3x minus 2x is greater or equal to minus 5 but less than 9. And we want to find the point where, in common where 3x minus 7 is less than x plus 10 and 6x is greater or equal to x minus 10. Let's have a look at this one first. So set it out like this. We've got 3x minus 2x, greater or equal to minus 5, less than 9. And then what you do is you separate into two separate inequalities. So you separate into minus 5 is less than or equal to 3 minus 2x, and then solve that. So uh, you take 3 from both sides. So you get minus 8, minus 5 take 3 is minus 8, and this side you get minus 2x, so don't forget the minus sign. So you're dividing by minus 2, and that, you know that means we've got to invert the inequality. So minus 8 divided by minus 2 is plus 4. Reversing the inequality sign is x. And then you solve the other one, which is 3x minus 2x is less than 9. And doing exactly the same thing. Take away 3, you're going to get minus 2x is less than 6, and then dividing by a negative 2, you have to reverse the inequality, so x will be greater than minus 3. You then now need to bring it back together. x is going to be greater than minus 3, but less than or equal to 4. Sometimes it's easy to put that on a number line first. So if you put on minus 3, it can't be equal to, so it's an open circle, put on 4, Okay, so this means x is greater than minus 3, so we're going that way. And this means that uh, x is less than 4, that means we're going that way. So the line would be joining them up like that. What you've got to be careful is, if it's less than minus 3 or greater than 4, you cannot write it, you cannot write them joined up, as we'll see in a later example. Right, B, we've got to find that where 3x minus 7 is less than x plus 10 and 6x is greater or equal to x minus 10. So this is like solving a simultaneous equation or simultaneous inequality. So what you do is you solve them separately. So look at this one, the smaller thing is x, take away x, you get 2x minus 7 is less than 10. Add 7, so you're going to get 2x is less than 17. Divide by 2, it's positive 2, so we don't need to change the sign, so x is less than 8.5. And now we'll solve this one. So taking away x, we're going to get 5x is greater than minus 10. Dividing by positive 5, so nothing happens with the inequality sign. So we're going to get x is greater or equal to minus 2. Right, drawing them separately on a same number line, but separately. So 8.5 open circle because it's not equal to, the line goes this way because we want less than x, and then minus 2, full circle because it's equal to and greater than, so it would be going that way. Where's the bit in common? The bit in common is going to be from here to here, so we'll put the, well, the intersection of both inequalities because it's what we're looking for here. So this one will be full and this one will be open and the line would go there. So it, the answer to the problem is that x has to be greater or equal to minus 2 but less than 8.5. Okay, this has been a video to show you how to solve simultaneous inequalities. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.